The nine worst and best azelaic acid products and how azelaic acid actually works in skin. And yes, we're gonna talk about the ordinary and why even though I recommend this product, it is one of the worst. Let's talk about it and let's break it down because azelaic acid is quite cool. It's a dicarboxylic acid and I feel like it doesn't always get as much attention as it should. Azelaic acid is fantastic for rosacea. It's actually prescribed in many prescriptions for rosacea, but it's also used over the counter and you can find it in many different forms. Azelaic acid has been known to help with redness, specifically the redness and kind of the pimples or pustules that kind of show up with rosacea. Azelaic acid can help with acne and with hyperpigmentation. And azelaic acid is also pregnancy safe. That means if someone is pregnant or breastfeeding, they can use it without concern. Now the tricky thing about azelaic acid is that it is hard to formulate with. It is kind of this white powder. And especially if you're trying to put that into a liquid product, often it can get a little bit crusty. It can get a little bit crunchy and like your skincare shouldn't be crunchy. And it often feels gritty or grainy on the skin. So for people who are trying to apply products underneath makeup, it can be a struggle bus. But that's why I have some of the best to share with you as well as some of the worst that you should avoid. And this first one, this is so bad. <laughs> I got this off of Amazon and shockingly, I can actually find decent skincare on Amazon. You have to look at who the seller is. We've actually done a video on how to avoid scammy skincare on Amazon and how to get the right stuff. But this one, even though it came from a reputable brand, this was just not it. This is M Skincare Prevent Acne Control Serum. And this has azelaic acid that helps calm irritated skin and prevents breakouts. It's one fluid ounce. It was very inexpensive. It was like under 10 bucks and it was the cheapest azelaic acid I could find, which is why I was like, ooh, I really want to get my fingers on this. This serum is disgusting. <laughs> it's basically like water, but then when it dries on your skin, it turns crunchy. I'm like, your skincare shouldn't be crunchy. It's like to the point that I actually question how much azelaic acid is actually in here. It doesn't really do anything for the skin. When I actually put it on, I do have kind of subclinical rosacea and my father actually has rosacea. And when I put this on his skin, it does nothing. And even when I put this on my own, like it does nothing. I feel like it's a very watery formula. And this is one of those instances where sadly, I, I got what I paid for. They say that this has aloe, this has glycerin, this has an azelaic acid derivative, which is great. And most azelaic acid products actually have a derivative in them, specifically potassium azelaic diglycanate. And while that's fine, it's in the Holofrog product, which is actually really good, but didn't make it into this nine piece lineup. This was a nightmare. This is just disgusting. And um, it's crunchy and your skincare shouldn't be crunchy. And as far as another one that is pretty bad, that isn't crunchy per se, but just kind of sucks, <laughs> is this one from Ren Skincare. Now I wanted to love this and Ren does have some really good products. They have this willow cleanser that I really like, but Ren is one of those clean skincare brands that tends to be a little bit hit or miss for me. This is their Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. And I do like this as like an AHA tonic, but it has azelaic acid in it as well. And this is really the only liquid azelaic acid product that I could find. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't hold up to a lot of those claims. Um, it's one of those little push top ones and it smells nice. It smells very orange citrusy. I tend to have more irritation to citrus. So maybe that was another reason that this didn't work for me, but this was just kind of a disappointment from the azelaic acid perspective. If you're looking for a gentle azelaic acid tonic and um, if you don't mind purchasing clean beauty and a lot of that kind of marketing that they do, then fine, it's not a bad one. But for the azelaic acid, I just didn't find this to have the benefits. Again, with azelaic acid, we want it to help with that redness. We want it to help with acne and we want it to help with that brightening that it does in the skin because azelaic acid is a tyrosinase inhibitor and it stops your skin from being able to create the pigment that shows up. But I found that this not only didn't do that for me, but it really doesn't do that for others. And um, it's more of just like an exfoliating liquid. If you want to spend a lot of money on a clean orange smelling exfoliating liquid. Go ahead. I would honestly, if you want something that smells like oranges and actually smells really, really good, Ula Henriksen. Ula Henriksen. <laughs> this just wasn't it for me. And then third, sadly enough, but very, very true, the Ordinary. I recommend this product. I actually love this product. This is the azelaic acid suspension, but this only comes in three out of nine because it is not a fantastic formula. It's just fantastic for the price. If you're looking to play around with a higher concentration of azelaic acid, specifically 10%, this is one of the highest percentages you can get before you go into prescription territory. And this is one of the least expensive. This is under $10, whereas almost everything else really does cost a lot more money if you're trying to get azelaic acid. Now, although that's fantastic, and although this azelaic acid 
formula actually works. Like it really works for rosacea, really works for acne prone skin, and it's great if you're pregnant or breastfeeding. At the same time, this does feel a little bit chalky on the skin. This is one of those products that kind of has that grit on the skin. This is a dimethicone based formula, so it feels a lot like a makeup primer. And this is definitely not as bad as some other gritty azelaic acid products can be, but this one is definitely not one of my favorites. And um, if you do wear this under makeup, it can ball up and pill a little bit. But I do want to say, I absolutely love this. I still think this is excellent and it's a 10 out of 10. I would recommend someone to buy, but because it's at a higher concentration, some people might have a hard time mixing this in with their routine. Even though azelaic acid, it generally works with many skincare ingredients. It's kind of like niacinamide where it gets along with almost everyone. The only problem is that like niacinamide, it tends to ball up a little bit. And so because of that, because of the cosmetic elegance of it, it only comes in at number three, which means yes, I have some products that maybe are a couple dollars more, but are much, much, much more elegant on the skin. And um, depending on how much you want to spend, this one is good and inexpensive. Whereas this is something that you would use all over the face. What if you are struggling with rosacea or with blemishes and you're looking for something that just kind of spot treats? This is brand new from Skin Fix and oh my God, is this good. This isn't the best of the best, but this is a good one. This right here is the 2% BHA acne spot treatment, but it's actually azelaic acid. And you know what's so funny? Do you see how it has like this little sticker on it? I got this and I was like, what is going on with this sticker? And I actually peeled it back for the first time and look at what it says. The the original name of this product was the Azelaic Acid BHA Spot Treatment. I don't know why they renamed it because I actually love that name. Like, was it bad for search engine optimization or do you need to have a specific amount of the product in there in order to claim that? I don't know, but they ended up changing it. But really, when you look at the ingredients, this is an Azelaic Acid Spot Treatment. The first ingredient is water and literally the second ingredient is Azelaic Acid. So you have a decent amount in here. And then you also have salicylic acid as well as kaolin clay. Now, this is more of a spot treatment, so you put it on pimples, but it actually blends into the skin completely completely clear. And I find that this is actually easier to use under makeup than something like The Ordinary. This is a really nice one. It is relatively inexpensive. And this is just a beautiful, fun formula that you could spot treat on or you could use all over. And if you are someone who gets rosacea in like very defined areas, like right here, this is fantastic. Or if you're someone who gets breakouts around that time of the month and you just don't want to use a traditional drying benzyl peroxide, you know, spot treatment, this is one that does not spot treat. It's an acne treatment and this is fantastic. This one, like The Ordinary, is fragrance free, but this one applies more elegantly on the skin and I find that it doesn't ball up quite the same. With the kaolin clay, I do like this better as a spot treatment that you put on and rinse off rather than a leave on, but this is a fantastic one that again, you can leave on and just kind of put it under your other skincare or your sunscreen as you go throughout the day. Then we start getting into some of my absolute favorites, which includes some prescriptions, but these come with a caveat. You see, if you were going to get azelaic acid from a prescription, you might look at something like finasteride gel. And some of the prescription options are fantastic. They're inexpensive, especially if insurance covers them. But if you don't have insurance or if you can't see a doctor, are there prescriptions that you can get? Yes, actually. And there are two that I absolutely love, both which actually formulate with azelaic acid and do it really well. One of them is from Dermatica. This one's available in the UK. And then this one is from Apostrophe. Now, both of these come with a caveat because these are both custom blended and these are custom prescriptions. So they're actually blended to my skin. So even though both of these have azelaic acid, they're going to have different amounts of azelaic acid or different supplemental ingredients, depending on your skin. Skin. The Dramatica one is about $25. I've actually found that depending on how they formulate this, I've had some formulas come back to me a little bit more chalky and some of them actually come back more hydrating. Overall, the azelaic acid in this does not ball up. This one I believe has a little bit of erythromycin along with that azelaic acid. Erythromycin is an antibacterial agent for my acne and potentially for my subclinical rosacea that happens kind of around my nose, a little bit of flushing if I you know, use too many skincare products and get irritated. Um, and this also has, oh, I'm sorry, it's not erythromycin. This is clindamycin as well as niacinamide. I absolutely absolutely love this one. And it is a really great option. It's like 25 bucks. And then they have coupons that give you like the first two months free. I've partnered with them before. I'm not partnering with them now, but I do love their products. and I would highly recommend this. And then if you're also looking, Apostrophe also has some great options. This one specifically has spironolactone as well as tranexamic acid. And this is such a nice formula. This one, I've also found that depending on how the formula is concocted, it could be a little bit more, um, I would almost say a little bit more gritty versus a little bit more smooth. And that really depends on what 
each formula has in it. But this one I've also found is fantastic if you have a little bit of redness, if you have a little bit of those bumps. And again, if you are pregnant or breastfeeding, you can get these with or without certain ingredients that are safe for you and the baby that you're baking in the oven. And um, both of these are prescribed by medical providers, by clinicians. So they'll actually take a look at you, your skin, what your concerns are and custom blend something to you. I love both of these. I think it depends on if you're traveling or if you want like a full size product and then how much you want to spend. And then if you want spironolactone or not. Dr. Mamina also works with Dermatica. She's how I found out about them and I love her. But both of these are wonderful prescription options, but I don't think that they're the best. There are actually some Azaleic products that I think are better than even the prescriptions. And that includes this one from Paula's Choice. This is the 10% Azaleic Acid Booster and this is so good. It is potent, it is stable, it is effective. It's in this pretty little green tube. It's actually quite a bit like the Skin Fix one where you just kind of apply it on and it's this kind of white paste and you just kind of rub it in. But I find that this is even more cosmetically elegant than the Skin Fix one. And then this one, you can actually mix it in with your other products. So if you do have some sort of a moisturizer and you're looking to give it a little bit of a boost, this is literally a Paula's Choice boost to boost up your skincare routine. Um, and you can work this into other moisturizers. The Inky List has that peptide moisturizer. It has a little pump top. And I like to dab a couple dots of this onto that little lid so that when you blend it in together, you actually get a nice lightweight gel moisturizer that you've just added azelaic acid to. Now I found that this at 10% is pretty potent. It's never really irritated my skin, but if you put a lot of it on and then you try to layer it with like a serum, a toner, a sunscreen, it can ball up just a little bit. So keep that in mind. But overall, this is a great one. And it also has licorice and salicylic acid. So especially if you have dark spots and hyperpigmentation, this is one of the best ways to go. Now, what if you don't have dark spots or hyperpigmentation, but you have rosacea and it really has a lot of pimples. Maybe it's even kind of borderline adult acne. That is where this comes in. For a leave-on treatment, this is probably the best azelaic acid product I've ever used. This is from Dr. Sam Bunting. She's a cosmetic dermatologist from the UK and she actually has azelaic acid in multiple of her products. She has the Brightly Serum and the Nightly Serum and this, but out of all three of them, this is definitely my favorite. And this doesn't just have azelaic acid. This also has salicylic, squalene, and bacuchiol. This is one of the best. It is one of the most cosmetically elegant. And if you are someone who is super picky about how your skincare feels, whether or not it pills up, whether or not it feels crunchy or whether or not it sticks. I don't know what the frick she did in all of her products, but mainly this one. This is one of the smoothest azelaic acid products that I have ever used in my entire life. And it really is a neutralizing gel. Dr. Sam herself has been open about her struggle with rosacea. And that's really who she made this product in her line for are women who have adult acne and rosacea prone skin. And they want something luxurious that feels nice, but that doesn't cost an arm and a leg like luxury beauty, but that still gives them that luxury feel and formulated in ways that are actually stable and medically proven to work. And again, she does have the Brightly and the Nightly, and I probably should have sprinkled those in here because those are two that are good as well. But even though they have azelaic acid in them, this is the best. And if you have adult acne and you want a leave-on treatment, this is so good. It's a little bit expensive, but I find that it's worth every penny and a little goes a long way. But what if you are someone who's looking for something that doesn't cost quite as much, or you're kind of a first timer with azelaic acid. Maybe you haven't used a lot of products before. You're kind of worried about leaving something on your skin all day. This is probably my favorite azelaic acid product. And this is from Skin Fix. This is a cleanser. And yes, this works for rosacea. This works for a fungal acne, which doesn't actually exist. It's called pterosperm folliculitis or this malassezia yeast that causes this fungal infection. And this product was literally created to help with all three. And this is a really beautiful pink wash. I've been using this nonstop. I actually, this is my second bottle. And as you can see, this kind of has this creamy texture that just swoops over the skin. And even though it's potent and even though it works well, you're using it in the shower or you're using it as a cleanser. So you rinse it off and the azelaic acid and the BHA don't actually sit on your skin. I would say that this is the best for acne, but it also works for rosacea. It also works if you have fungal acne and you're worried about finding a cleanser that works. And again, when you peel off this little label. It literally says Azelaic AHA BHA Cleanser. I don't know why they renamed it because I think that's such a good name, but the fact is that they did. I've had this one sent to me and then I bought the other one at Sephora because I wanted a restock, but this is probably one of the best. And especially if you are a first time Azelaic Acid user, you're trying to incorporate it into a routine. This one is phenomenal and it's worth every cent. And it's not often that we see Azelaic Acid inside of cleansers as well. It's definitely not going to be as potent as something that you leave on the skin. But for those who are just starting or trying to ease into their skincare, this is the
the way to go. It's easy to use, it's hard to mess up, and it's definitely worlds away from this, you know, that sits on your skin and gets crunchy. <laughs> Have you ever used an azelaic acid product? And which one of these do you think is best for your routine? Please always remember to pair your azelaic acid with an SPF because that is essential. And of course, always remember to be beautiful both inside and out. I love you and I cannot wait to see you in this next video. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.